people, I'm Shago Tukrotik, I'm a Microsoft MVP on Windows Platform Development and I'm talking about dependency injection for dummies like me on today. So, uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, the title definitely seems tough. I mean, the word dependency injection gave me the scare of my life. I mean, seriously, this is what it is. I don't know. I have, so the first thing uh, we're going to try today is to have a bird's eye view on what actually dependence injection and inversion of control is because both of them are so much related to one another. You just cannot go through one ignoring the other. To understand dependency injection a little bit more deeply, we got to look into dependency inversion principle. And like all textbook, everything, every title that ends with the principle, I mean ends with the word principle sounds really scary so i kind of dumped it down for me so let's see let's assume that we have a family that has a dad and his three sons so the situation should should be like this a dad should be able to depend on any of his sons not only a specific one and the definition of the word son can only be defined by what it does for his dad not what a specific son or specific one can do for his dad. If it gets really really screwed up for you, it's something like this. A dad should be able to call any of his son if he needs them. So, so assume he has a phone and he is in danger and he needs to call his son, he should be able to call any of his son and any of those son should be able to help his dad. Their ways of helping might be different like a son can run to his dad with his bike, another son can run to his dad with his car, another son can run to his dad with his feet. But the dad should be able to call any of them and just say help. And the definition of son can only be defined by what it does for his dad. So in this case, the son helps his dad. It doesn't matter how he does it, but he helps his dad. So if any other, just a specific one, like any son can do something more or something less, that shouldn't be a concern in here. So the whole definition actually ends up in here. So let's say we had our dad that is a high level module should not depend on low level modules. Both should depend on obstructions. Now you can question me, the dad was actually depending on his son. So see, the dad was actually not depending on a specific son he was actually dependent dependent on any of his son so that 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 means that he was actually depending on an abstraction rather than a concrete object like a specific son and the second rule actually translates to abstractions shouldn't depend on details details should depend upon abstractions like the abstraction i mean the son should say what it does it necessarily doesn't make somebody son if he does the same thing. If it's still getting really confusing for you, the first thing we should do right now is jump into a baby step. So let's see what we have here. We have a dad and we have an elder son. The dad needs help and every time he needs help, he calls the method notify with a message. The message should be actually delivered to his son. So the eldest son has a method called help and it also takes a message. So let's assume that in this method he helps his dad. We don't know how he does it, but he does it. So the notify method implementation is pretty simple. He just checks out whether eldest son is null or not and asks for help from the eldest son. So from the code point of view, this is simple. This is clear and concise and quite frankly, it doesn't have any kind of quality issues on it. It looks clean. It doesn't have any problems right now on it. But what are we missing here? The first thing that we are missing is the dad is only calling his eldest son and that actually violates our dependence injection principle. Remember, the dad should be able to call any of his son, not, the only, not only the eldest one. But then again, you can ask me, I can create an, a, any kind of classes like this, like I can create a youngest son like here right away, right? Let's create a younger son, shall we? And we can uh, definitely go over here and create another that 
of that you know youngest son instance and now in here I can definitely check out or definitely do something here to select the son now question that comes in here that this actually although it works it definitely works and it looks clean but it has a big problem in it you see uh, the moment we are giving the dad the reporter of all those sons to him he's actually bound to only two of this his sons I mean what if he gets a new son right away so if I don't execute the son selection algorithm in here he will not be able to call that new son that he has now that he didn't have before so definitely we're missing something now the question is what so now we introduced an interface named iSun remember our problem was actually not being able to get an idea how the dad will be able to call all of his son from one channel so that was our problem so that's why we came up with an interface that says iSun this is nothing but a manifestation of the dad's need to have a son who can help that's why we only have a help method in here so that says that to be to make someone a son of that dad that guy has to know how to help his dad so let's say let's see how the whole thing actually changed the dad so rather than having two concrete implementation of all his sons now he has an interface that says i son son and in the notify method when the son is now he actually gets to check or he actually gets to decide what kind of son he now wants to call i mean which son actually he wants to call let's say which son it he wants to call is not about what kind of son because we have said that that the son should do a set of duties to the dad so the question is now the dad faces is which son is gonna call so no matter what comes out of this block I mean no matter which son gets selected in the end he'll be able to call the help message because all of the sons actually follows this I son and if we look at the both of the implementation of the eldest and the youngest son you will see that both of them has a help method because they are implementing the IESUN interface and the class diagram proves so both of the sun implements IESUN and there's the dad please ignore the program class because it comes with the console application well the situation is kind of like this now all we are now concerned about is how is gonna how a dad's gonna pick his son okay so a dad can pick a son based on his condition a dad can have a preferable situation that can lead him to get a preferable son in that specific situation like a son can be nearer than any other guy so he can pick him up and someone else who's actually not in this ecosystem or from somewhere else can actually advise dad which son is better to call now now if you can if you have a look on it, it I think the first thing you're gonna get confused about this I mean what is this in the end of the day the dad is picking a son anyway so why this confusion well to clear those up we need to go over to see a little bit of code too but before going there let's have a look what's what what's gonna be get covered in that very code well the first thing that's gonna get covered is the types of dependence injection the first thing we're gonna see is the constructor injection the second thing we're gonna see is the method injection and the third thing we're gonna see is the property injection now if it's really too big for you to swallow then let's just imagine this are all the ways that we can help the dad to pick his son except an external condition that actually makes him do so so this is the way we're gonna inject the choice of son in the dad's head so our situation is kind of like this right now we have introduced a constructor in the dad class now remember the first type of injection we were going to see is the constructor injection and it's fairly simple let's say we can actually inject an i son in the dad's constructor to actually initialize him with any kind of son that we want 
So, making him do so will actually eradicate this scenario in here so he doesn't have to choose a son when he has notifies people. So all we have to do is practically go over in the program class and see we just we just have to pick the son we're gonna pick and push it on the dad so it doesn't become a much of a deal for him to select so let's so that is something actually happens when we are actually selecting the son based on some external conditions so you can actually select any kind of son based on any kind of external condition and let the dad just notify the selected son so so that is actually the constructor injection now the next thing we were supposed to see is the method injection so the when you hear the name method injection and you have already seen constructor injection what was the first thing that comes to your mind the very first thing that comes to your mind is should be or probably should be is injecting the i son into the actual method that that calls so all the method we have right now i mean it's just one the one method that that is really matters right now is the notify method because this is what the dad needs to call to get help from his son so all we have to do is just take this here push it over here take the constructor off let's say just take it off and go over a program.cs you see there's a problem because it doesn't take the dad doesn't take any sun just push the sun in here so what I'm doing right now is selecting a sun based on that what the what kind of service the dad wants from the sun so when are you going to use this scenario you are going to use this scenario only when you are gonna segregate your son from the helps any of the son can provide so let's say if there was another help the son can provide let's say help two then let's uh, go over our all the classes and implement this let's just take it off go over there implement this and take it off now if you have another function that says public void notify to and you can actually inject all this here let's actually beauty beautify this guy okay so go over program and now you can actually call notify to before going there let's create a different son in here youngest son son 2 let's say youngest son let's not name him son 2 that's not a very practical so y son would be good notify to y son and you can send him a different message so you can see although there's a single dad he's capable of selecting son from getting his son choice from outside and notifying both of the sons through the different implementations so this is something that actually can come in very handy also the thing is that you don't need that anymore because you know um, uh, every time it's actually helping it's selected and it should be actually this instead of that and notify two should be selected some dot help or help two with the message instead of that so now this is what you get for your method injection every method has a selected son and you can inject any son in any case necessary so this constructor and method injection are uh, I mean the construction in injection is this most in the most the most used scene injection in the scenario here I mean in the most most of the uh, IOC containers or inversion of control containers will use the constructor injection and if you are not familiar with IOC or IOC containers don't worry about it we'll do another session on it let's just say that the most used injection paradigm here is the constructor one 
So that remains as just that keeps uh, gets us left with just one type of injection that is proper injection. And I think you have already figured that out by yourself by right now. So it's basically the same, just creating the isom properly in here. So changing it like this and taking off the sun selection from the method will actually do your trick. Now if you go over program class, you can definitely see it's still taking sun. I'm not sure why it is, but yeah, see the red light came on. So let's say let's just take it off and uh, now I can actually create a dead and add a, add a property of sun on it based on any kind of you know condition that I have. So single dead instance can actually choose a multiple suns based on any kind of scenario that comes in handy. So you get to you get to actually maintain a single instance of dead with uses of multiple suns over time here. So that's the thing, I mean, that's the facility you get from specially using property injection. So usually, uh, I don't see that much of property injection, but if you're cool with it, you can definitely use it. So those are the all three way we can actually help the dad choose his sons. So that was one lucky dad. <laughs> At the end, he got to pick his son. So, I definitely can understand if you guys have questions. So, if you have any kind of question or share, want to share anything you want to share with me, please go over ilovewindowsphone.com. That's my personal blog that I maintain, and you can ask me any kind of questions there. Thank you, and please write whether you like this video or not, and how can I how can I actually do something to make it better? I'm gonna try to do this kind of source sessions on C sharp. So your opinion is really valuable here. Thank you.